So I put from chapter 37 for verse 147. Verse 147. This is verse number 147 from Asafat. Uh, and we caused a gold plant to grow over him. What is the significance of shajara in this verse? Hmm? What is the significance of shajara? Shajara? In this verse, yes. It says good plant, doesn't it? Um, what is the role of the, of the shajara? Hmm? What is the role of the shajara in the verse? He, what, he, why is it mentioned? He wants to know the background of the whole events. That's right. Hazrat uh, Yunus al Islam, when the fish vomited him out on a soil. It seems that it was uh, a hot season and uh, the sun was shining bright and this sun could have killed him instead of being saved by thrown, being thrown out on the soil. And he wanted shelter. He wanted also something to suck to replace the lost water. And as an ill person, he wanted also some ointment for his wounds. All these three can be provided by a plant like gourd, which is a creeper, technically speaking. It can rise by winding itself round big trees and poles and also it can spread very rapidly. And the fruit it bears can be so widely different from, because this species has many fruits like melons, like uh, uh, what do you call this? Karela. Uh, Gold is that yes. thing, that, bitter gold, huh? Karelas. Now, Allah knows best which fruit it was. It could not have been all that bitter because otherwise he might have suffered from it. But we know that some bitter fruits like gourds have also medicinal properties. But you cannot suck enough water from them. So it should have been a sight sort of that creeper, which may not have borne only bitter fruit, but may have borne other fruits. And we know this family is widely distributed and it can bear different types of fruits. So whatever fruits were born were lifesavers. He must have used them, he must have covered the shelter of the fast spreading creeper, and uh, from there he must have walked out healthy and fresh and having been replenished in whatever he had lost. <laughs>